This Gotta Be Mobile Shortcut is brought to you by Lenovo. Hi everyone, Matt Dillon for GottaBeMobile.com. Today in this shortcut, we're going to take a look at an app for the iPad called Fast Finger. We've looked at Fast Finger before. It's not Fast Finger, it's Fast Finger. And we've seen it on the iPhone. And on the iPhone, it seemed to have a little bit of promise for maybe being a useful tool on the iPad. Before we take a look at that, I'm going to show you here I've got on my iPad, I've got Pen Ultimate open. And you can see Pen, Pen Ultimate basically is um, something you can use to take notes it kind of mirrors what a notebook would look like simple page you can turn the pages and if you're familiar with inking and taking notes on tablet PCs or what's available for the iPad you're probably familiar with Pen Ultimate. Pen Ultimate's pretty good for doing basic tasks for jotting down big notes and the good thing is it does have some palm or wrist rejection so if you're actually doing some writing on here you'll note I can put my palm on the screen and write out stuff and there's no gibberish or little errors that are picked up over here on the side. Sometimes you will see that I can put a little stray mark on there and it'll disappear because it's really designed to work top down. You'll start writing and work your way down and it kind of ignores everything that ends up being in this area right here where you put your palm. Not very good if you're left-handed but for the righties out there it does the basic things. But like I said, if you're doing big stuff, it's okay. If you want to really actually write small, get into some detail, uh, it's painful. It's, it's not something that you want to do. So I don't really recommend Pen Ultimate. It, it works, but it's more of a novelty than anything. But let's load up here, Fast Finger. If I can find where I put it, there it is, Fast Finger. It's $1.99, downloaded it from the App Store just a moment ago. Didn't take very long to download and install it all. And you can see here I've already got my to-do list up. It's kind of difficult to see. And I'll, I'll put an actual um, picture of this up. And I typed this up. It probably took a little bit longer than it would take to write something out. Um, it was better than I thought it would be. It's actually um, designed very well. The overall application is designed very well. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to be learning this as I kind of record this. So we'll do a new one here. Looks like this is actually... Um, a second page. So what you've got is up at the top you have a cursor and it's kind of flashing and you've got some lines that show up here so you can see here the lines and at the bottom uh, that's where the, it gets a little bit um, different than any other inking app you've seen. You can actually write stuff out. You've got a, a space here and a space down below where you'll actually write something out so I'll just put Matt's to, and then you'll see I, I've run out of room. So there's a little button here you push. It scoots all that over to do list. So this is going to be my to-do list. So then in the bottom corner here, there's a button that says done. I click done. And then boom, you notice real small, it pops up there at the top. And that's to-do list. So then I use these controls down here at the bottom. And I'll actually hit return. It's similar to a word processor. You've got a return, a space, a delete that kind of helps you navigate where your text or where your writing is going to be. So now that I've got this up here at the top, I want to actually put some things down. So I'm going to hit the little pin down here in the corner. My bars pop up where I can start writing. Let's see. I'm going to do a little checkbox. I like to make checkboxes, things I can mark off my list when it's complete. Um, I need to take the, the dog outside in a little bit, so... I'll say take dog outside. And you can see when I actually write that, it's pretty smooth. It's pretty quick. Pen ultimate, sometimes there's a little lag where you'll actually be doing your inking and it feels like it catches up to the um, stylus. But with this, it's almost one to one when I'm actually doing the writing. So pop down again and we'll just do something else. I want to, I don't know, take out the garbage. Take, I run out of room again, so I hit that button on the side. Out the, 
I messed up there. So let's see. Here's an eraser. The eraser, I like a big eraser that just goes through and erases everything. Um, but you, this is kind of small. It's not too bad, but it's, you can see there I just erased it the G. It, but so then back to the ink pen. With the ink pen, you do have some options at the bottom. You can select the size. You can select different colors. Um, pretty basic, but the overall design is not that bad. Now, is this something that I'd actually want to use on a regular basis to write my notes down? No. Compared to pen and paper, it still doesn't uh, come close. Compared to a tablet PC, it doesn't come close. It's a little different than Pen Ultimate. I don't know if it's better. It's just a little different. It's just a different input method. But what gets me is, I mean, it's great design. It works well. But when you're going along here and you're typing stuff out, or you're writing stuff out, rather, to, to lose this break, to have this break in your thought, to have to push this button to go over, that's enough to just slow it down for me. I want to be able to just real smooth, jot it all out, almost have this be an automatic process, rather than, you know, to old you. And then, oh, I've got to push the button, and then it goes up there. So, anyway, it's a well-designed app for $1.99. It does what it says it would do. Uh, I don't know that I would use it every day for writing things down, but it's worth a look. So thanks for tuning in. Check out all of the other things here on Gotta Be Mobile, and we'll talk to you later.